everyone, I hope you're having a great day today and welcome back to my little cakes. On today's video, I'm going to show you how to make this amazing, super easy to make makeup palette. Well, let's get into it. These are the ingredients you're going to need to make the bread. I'll leave them in the description box below so that you can check them out later. First, preheat your oven at 356 degrees Fahrenheit. Mix a cup of oil, the sugar, the eggs, the pinch of salt, and the vanilla extract with the mixer at a medium speed for about 2 minutes. Afterwards, pass the flour through a strainer, the baking powder, the cocoa powder, and mix it at a medium speed. Then add the milk until it's perfectly mixed. Then you're going to need a rectangular pan like this one. It measures about 10 inches long and about 6 inches tall. Cut out wax paper to its measurements and paste it with a little bit of oil or butter. Add the mixture. And heat it up at 356 degrees Fahrenheit for about 30 to 40 minutes. Until you stick a fork inside and it comes out clean. And I'll also leave you a list of everything you're going to need to decorate this with the exact measurements in the description box below. Take off your wax paper and cut your cake so that it can look even. I used a cake cutter, but you can also use a knife instead. Also, cut it so that it can look like a perfect rectangle. Cover everything up with the chocolate frosting. First, add a little bit of butter onto your hands and start kneading the black fondant so that it could be easier to work with. Then start stretching it out on top of wax paper and if you want to, you can tape it onto your table so that it won't move. Or you can also do this on top of a silicone mat. Roll it up and cover the cake with it. Then cut off the excess. Now mark down the 12 circles using your cutter on the top part. Cut them out. Take them off very carefully. And fill up the remaining holes with a little bit of frosting. Then cut out circles using the same circle cutter and paste them over the holes. You can definitely choose the colors that you want for your makeup palette. I only gave you these as options. And for the brush, roll up the black fondant. Paste a little bit of gray. A little bit of beige. And mark down the brush hairs using a knife. Now it's time to use a brown powdered food coloring to paint it and give it a more used effect, but this step is optional. And if you want to, you can paint the gray part with a metallic powdered food coloring, just mix it with a little bit of few lemon drops so that it can look more real, but this step is also optional. Now cut out a rectangle of styrofoam that measures the same thing as your cake. Stretch out the black fondant. Add a little bit of fondant glue to the side and to its borders. Paste it and cut out the excess. And do the same thing, only this time only cover up the back part. Using 
warm metallic powdered food coloring and a skinny paintbrush right down the letters right here and also on the brush. Lastly, add the fondant glue to it and paste it like this. And give it the effect of a used brush. And that's it! And how did the makeup palette turn out? Super special! Now, who's ready to do their makeup? Once again, thanks to everyone for watching my video. If you liked it, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And if you want to get to know me better, follow me on my Facebook and Instagram. I'll leave the link in the description box below. Remember, my name is Grace, and I'm here to make your life sweeter, one cake at a time. See you in my next video. Bye!